If we had a 15 year old um, listening to this conversation now, what would you suggest they do to prepare their career um, as much as they can prepare or plot it to be in a position where you are now in your careers? Maybe I start with Tanya this time. Um, thank you. Um, I was just reflecting actually on my son saying to me at one point that he wanted to do boards like, like I do. Um, but in a, and then I thought about where I started and it was really in some very, you know, very, you know, fruit picking type bottle washing kind of roles. So, um, you know, you don't, you don't have to start in something really amazing. You just, I think, find what you're good at, um, find what you enjoy and what you can earn some money from and you kind of put those things together and find the intercept. Um, and start, you know, start with with you, with what's good for you, and you develop your career along those lines. Um, if you can stick to your values and the and the things that mean are meaningful to you, and find a career around that, um, and and develop up. And and governance is also um, multi layered, so you can start governance really at any age i think um, there are all kinds of organizations that want people on their boards you can perhaps indicate an interest at a local school and see if you can contribute to be of assistance to a board of trustees you know and there's, there's there are charities that that want help um, so you can start really anywhere at any time i believe um, but you know, in life, just find your passion, do that, and um, you know, staircase your way from wherever you are to wherever you want to be. No, thank you for that. Um, Teresa, your thoughts? If I couldn't agree more with what Tanya said. I don't think it matters what you do at 25. It certainly doesn't matter what you do at 15, because what you'll be doing when you're our age doesn't exist at the moment. So it is about finding that intersection of what you are good at, what you like doing, and what the world will pay you for. And don't worry if it takes a while for that all to come through. And if you're completely lost and you have no idea what that is, think about what you like doing when you were seven. Because chances are what you like doing when you were seven, before the world said girls don't do that, Maori kids don't do that, New Zealanders don't do that, can't do that, that is the antithesis of what actually ignites your spirit and soul so um and it's fine to experiment you're going to have more than one career in your working life so i think we're headed for uh, among people my age we talk about living a portfolio life like doing a main thing having a side hustle what i see younger people doing is side hustle and side hustle and side hustle a little job on the side like it's just going to be completely different i think the whole framing up of a career it's going to be completely different. No, no, thank you for that. Um, and it definitely fits in the mould of where my children are seeing themselves. Um, it's that they are doing multiple things and multiple tasks, and they're all about their passion. Everything's about what they're passionate about. Um, Liz, your thoughts on um, what you would suggest to somebody who's a lot younger in terms of a career and governance? Well... I would encourage um, a 15 year old to, to travel, to um, read, listen, talk with a variety of people about as many different topics as you can. Listen to different opinions and outlooks on life, cultures, backgrounds, and build your understanding of the different cultures and how people around the world mm. uh, live their life. Uh, you know, it's just so important to, um, you know, just have a facile mind and an understanding of different cultures. So, and the earlier you can do that, the better. And the other message I'd say is that, um, and it's been talked about over the last hour, is build and maintain your good connections with people you admire and can learn from. You know, acknowledge that social media is a time waster. It has its place, but real connections, real people matter. People only post on social media what they want you to see. And that may have no resemblance with reality. So, you know, work with people, talk with people, learn from people, learn from different cultures, cultures. open your mind up, and the opportunities will come your way. Oh, thank you for that, Liz. Miriam, your thoughts? 
Look, I'm not sure I can add a lot to what's already been said. Um, I guess maybe not so much for the 15-year-old, maybe it's the 25-year-old, <laughs> but I've already alluded to is once you've found your passion, then a bit of planning, taking risks, seizing opportunities and networking, although I prefer to call it um, making connections. But the second one, and I think this is really important that Teresa touched on, is I think it is so important to be authentic, to be yourself. And I guess I do speak um, from um, experience because for a long time I was the only woman in client meetings, a courtroom, a board table. And so being authentic was also about being a woman. So I developed a reputation for wearing these incredibly bright suits, whether they were bright pink or yellow or whatever. I do a scarf these days and it was partly because I did not want to be like the men. Um, and I have to say it still surprises me a bit when you go to Wellington and you see all the women in dark suits and I think, why do you want to look <laughs> Mm -hmm. our male counterparts <laughs> and then the third thing is something I do pass on to women in these workshops I'll do and I think they are valid even for the 15 year old and they came from the book by Susan Jeffers that some may have read but that really is that feel the fear and do it anyway we all get fearful mm -hmm. we just have to go out and do it and then secondly when it does get a bit much or a bit scary whether you're 15 25 or 55 um, one of the things that she said in her book that always resonates with me is angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. And I think that's quite nice. We all need to lighten up at times, particularly in COVID times. And dare I say it, I've mentioned that word. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Miriam. And finally, um, Padakafia. Kia ora, that was beautiful, Miriam. Um, Always be open to opportunities. Um, also learn uh, any lessons because life will be up, it will have its ups and downs. Um, the other thing I would say too is remember who you are and that, um, that speaks to identity and whakapapa. And the last point is that you are enough. Um, and I think sometimes we forget about that, um, is particularly when you're younger. And I think of my daughters and my nephews and nieces when I'm having conversations like that with them. No. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. And I think uh, another one I'd heard Miriam talk about um, at a previous time that we had met was take others with you and actually hold them up and allow them to also shine. I think it's an absolute critical one as, as leaders and it's something that you can do from any age is to take others with you and allow them to shine. Um, 